Hello, this is topic 9-4 over parallel and perpendicular lines. So, uh, first off, we're going to have to talk about what makes lines parallel and perpendicular. So if I'm looking up here, uh, lines A and B, those are parallel. And we mark parallel lines by drawing arrows like that in the middle of the line. And then we know that lines A and D are perpendicular because we are told that this is a right angle. And uh, if it's a right angle, then it's perpendicular lines. Let's go ahead and find our slope. So A, we pick two points, and we go rise over run. So to go from here to here, I rise one, and I run one, two. So A is one half, and I'm going up as I go to the right so that I know it's positive. Well, B, I rise one, and I run two. For line C, that would be this one. I'm going to go ahead and use these two points. So I rise, one, two, and I run one. And for D, that would be this one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use these two points. I rise, two, and run one, but I'm going backwards. And so that means it needs to be negative. Well, 1 half, that's as simple as it gets. 2 over 1 is just 2. And negative 2 over 1 is a negative 2. And so those are our slopes. So A and B are parallel. And we notice about their slopes, their slopes are the same. And then if we look at uh, A and D, 1 half negative 2 over 1, the slopes are negative reciprocals. Okay? Negative reciprocals. And we'll, we'll go over how to do that here right now. So if I'm given two-thirds, a parallel slope is also two-thirds. To get the perpendicular slope, I have to flip and change sign. So when I flip it, it becomes 3 over 2. I change the sign and make it negative. Well, a parallel slope would also be negative 4. Now here, in order to flip it, I've got to turn this into a fraction. So this is the same as saying negative 4 over 1. So when I flip it, I get 1 fourth, and the negative becomes positive. Right, we've got negative 1 fourth. One that's parallel is also negative 1 fourth. We flip it and make it positive. 4 over 1 just equals 4. Parallel is 2. Well, that's the same as 2 over 1. So perpendicular would be a negative 1 half. The slope is 0. My parallel slope is 0. And this is the same as saying 0 over 1. Well, if I flip that and I get 1 over 0, well, I can't do that. And instead, I get a slope that is undefined. This is the only tricky one. All the rest of them, you follow the rule of flip and change sign. However, if you have zero, when you try to do that, you wind up trying to divide by zero, which is impossible. And so our answer is undefined. Same thing as if I had an undefined slope, one that is perpendicular to it, 
would be zero. Let's go ahead and look at some more examples. Here I'm given equations of lines and I need to determine are they parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So all I care about are my slopes. I don't care about my B values. All I care about are slopes. And so this is negative one half and two. I need to turn this into a fraction. Two equals two over one. To go from negative one half to two, I have flipped it and changed the sign. That means that they are perpendicular. And the shorthand to write that is an upside down capital T. Well, if I look at number two, well, this is three over one. Negative three over one. Well, they're not flipped and they're not the same. So this would be neither. And then over here, well, x over 7 equals 1 seventh x. They're the same thing. So I'm looking at 1 seventh and 1 seventh. Those are the same. And so they are parallel. And the mathematical way of writing that is two vertical bars close together. And so that's identifying whether lines are parallel or perpendicular. And now we're going to get back to writing equations. So for example number four, we want one that is parallel. So the first thing I need to do is find my slope, because I want it in slope-intercept form. So I need this in y equals mx plus b. And more specifically, I need to figure out what my m is. So if I solve for y, I'll know what m is. I subtract 5x from both sides. Negative 2y equals a negative 5x plus 8. Divide everything by negative 2. And y equals 5 halves x plus 4. Now, this is not my answer. not my answer. This is where I grab my slope. Okay? And I don't care about that plus 4. All I wanted was the 5 halves. Well now I've got my slope, I need a slope that is parallel. And parallel slopes are the same. So, and then I've got this point. So my m is 5 halves and my point is 2, 9. Well, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 using point slope. So y minus 9 equals 5 halves times x minus 2. Nothing changes on that side. When I distribute, I get 5 halves x minus 5. Add 9 to both sides. y equals 5 halves x plus 4. And that is my answer. Uh, five halves times two is five. Yeah. And it just happened to be that it's the same line. 
okay? Normally this does, this does not happen. Uh, it just happened to be in this instance. Well, let's go ahead and have a look at perpendicular. Well, perpendicular means I need the negative reciprocal or I need to flip and change the sign. So this was my M. I don't care about that minus 5. My new M is going to equal negative 9 over 2. This is my point, X and Y. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. y minus a negative 13 equals a negative 9 halves times x minus 6. y plus 13 equals a negative 9 halves x plus 27. I subtract 13 from both sides, and I get that y equals a negative 9 halves x plus 14. And that is the equation of a line that is perpendicular. Remember to uh, be able to find the correct slope for parallel and perpendicular. Uh, so that you can then find the correct line. Good luck on your assignment. Have a good day.